So, one thing I was never really taught as I was a kid was how to be happy. And I think we as a society sort of, you know, attribute, give happiness and the pursuit of it too much attention, really. So, I sort of look at it, you know, I am an author, so I sort of look at it in this same sort of thinking as with my book. Being creative and writing, the passion isn't always there. In fact, most of the times it's not. You have to force yourself to write, and often once I do force myself to write, that's when most of my best writing comes and happens. Passion comes and goes in waves, and you have to really talk to yourself and find out what it is you want. So, you know, as I've shared in previous videos, I started out, I wanted to make video games. There were no ifs, ands, or buts. And, you know, I thought the world couldn't stop me, and, you know, I was going to do it no matter what it took. So, I got into game development, stumbled on a couple different YouTuber channels on how to make games, got it into Braxies, C Sharp, and Unity, yada yada yada, and I decided that programming was my route to go for game development. I quickly hit a roadblock with that, and there's only so much you can learn, so many simple games, browser games that you can make in coding until you need some art skills or to outsource it, but I had no means to outsource it. So I tried to learn art. And I will probably continue to learn art because I find it fun. But to turn that into a marketable skill, I would need to practice much more, have much more directed studying going on. You know, have a mentor or whatever. And it just isn't sort of realistic. Now, I, you know, in the past, when I was younger, would have gotten really bitchy at this point because nothing was working out. But I just decided to play to my strengths. And when I was in school, I always enjoyed reading and writing. And if I'm being honest, in video games, that is my favorite part, is the storyline. So, in order for me, well, let's backtrack a bit. I had sort of put coding and programming after I did a few web development jobs and did a I did a hangman game and that I put coding on the back burner because I just honestly didn't care and it was not like my intent was to make games not to become a web developer so I put it on the back burner and decided to write some HTML and CSS books so that I would have cliff notes for myself in case I wanted to go back to it and would have a clear step-by-step -step guide in my own words. One thing led to another and I started publishing fiction books and yeah, I will now probably write a book for the rest of my life, at least one a year. And that sort of goes into my goal of opening a games gaming studio where I can you know make small indie games my dream itself is to make a video game and I'm totally happy with that as a dream now the concessions come and what will I do to get there and I honestly don't care and that's where you need to get with happiness we are in such an instant gratification generation I mean it's not generation specific all of us around the world are you know 10 years ago I would have waited all night for one song on YouTube now if it takes a few minutes or a few seconds even I'm furious and all these distractions and everything prevent us from the pursuit of happiness we need instant gratification but happiness is not instant it takes a long time to work towards and really you know whatever it is that you want to do the things you like doing you know what it is if you just flat out want to sit on your ass and play video games all day I mean there's seven days in a week devote two full days to streaming online 
you might not want to do it but if your dream is to play video games get rich and become a streamer if you want to make a YouTube video make a YouTube video whether you're good at it or not if you have a camera then start if you want to learn to draw then practice every day learn the fundamentals of whatever skill you're trying to learn be it art coding sword play whatever happiness is all about how you define it as well so whether or not you deem yourself successful like me as an author I think I'm successful because I've sold a few hundred books and I've published two books so I'm an author and I you know whether anyone else have a de has a different definition that's up to them but to me I'll always be an author even if I stop today so it takes a lot of the mental pressure off now do I need to shoot for the stars and become a best-selling author I mean I'd rather 10,000 people read my book than just be a bestseller you know like and that's sort of the thing I don't really care if people read my book if they read it and love it great if they don't like it hmm, sorry and that goes the same with this channel don't focus so much on what you want to do if you want to start a YouTube channel and define your niche just make a bunch of videos make a hundred videos you'll find your niche and for me even though my dream seems all over the place like I'm you know writing practicing drawing I want to make comic books and you know I code occasionally and then making YouTubes it seems like I'm spread all over the place but really I chose a productivity angle to my you know be a productivity youtuber and that's what works for me because it sort of I come on here and it's accountability of sorts for myself I say I'm gonna do something like I'm going to release the sequel to my previous book let's make a date March 10th I will have that oh. probably sooner but March 10th we'll say and so you just have to do whatever it is and narrow down your focus and do the things that you'll say you do because really it's just an excuse that you're not doing it I thought for years about starting a YouTube channel I'm not the, the greatest on camera you know I'm speaking off the cup no script prepared I notice that my eyes keep dashing back and forth because I'm not used to looking at the camera but it is what it is you gotta start somewhere and you gotta learn so lower your expectations of yourself and have fun in your pursuit of what it is that you want and that will make you happy because <laughs> really like try say you're thinking of becoming a programmer right now you're not going to be happy unless you like coding so don't do it just because it's a good paying job if it was that easy everyone would be doing it same with YouTube I'm a very introverted personality so I kind of like YouTube and social media and all that stuff but don't fight against what your strengths are if you're you know extremely good at art but you you know can't do anything tax related let's say and you're self-employed with your art then outsource your taxes take it down to H&R Block or wherever that does taxes and don't waste your time on things that would you know you'd be better served honing other skills than you know me I mean I'll probably get to a point where I'll pay someone to make thumbnails because I just don't care that kind of thing is not something I enjoy doing or I'm very good at I might learn it over time but initially I'll just probably get and recycle six or seven different thumbnails and really if you want to be happy stop thinking about it you know what you like to do do what you did when you were a kid 
and none of this negative stuff about society and money and how to pay rent and everything else crept in. If you like photography then go buy a camera. It's really that simple.